Well hello again everybody. So I've been going through my naughty bucket, trying to get some stuff cleared up. Drag these two out. American lock, series 20s. Same lock, different shackles. I've had these a few months. They were new old stock, still in the plastic wrappers when I got them. Uh, both looking at the both made at the same time which was February 1993 so they'd actually been sitting around in their packets for 23 years when I got them the only thing I have done to them is these came I don't know if you can see in there with the riveted core Let's just grab the light but I have drilled them out and changed them for the screws so that they are actually re -keyable. we can get the cores out none of them work particularly nicely, they're very graunchy and I've never managed to even get a full set out of either of them I have opened that one once and this one twice but that's over a few months never regularly uh, I think probably because of 23 year old grease in there but I thought it was about time to give one a go so we shall give this one a go today I did try it earlier and did manage to get it open once so, after quite a few attempts, so we'll see if we can get this one on camera. So give me a minute, I'll get it in the vise, and we'll see how it goes. Right, here we go back again. Better look at the bitting on the key. So you can just probably hear it. Not very nice. Very heavy spring tension on the core. So we're using a 1.2mm Mad Bob's tension wrench and the deepest hook from the SS dev set. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to start at the back and find number 5. Three clicks. Seems about all it wants to do. Four. One click out of four. Three. Tiny little click out of three into two nothing that's solid and one and two little clicks out of one seem to want to do anything else right, five still solid four that was me slipping off nothing that's solid three solid two Solid right. Let's try 
back here again just easing up on the tension slightly but I found too little tension and things will overset so easily There's nothing on 5 nothing on 4 right, a tiny little click on 3 Two little clicks out of two. And click out of one. Five is solid. It's open. Right. Let's get this out of the way. And let's have a look inside this. Let's see if we can work out why it's been giving me so many problems. clip off one circle follower and I'm gonna have to put the key in but I'm turn this the other way See how sticky the pins are. So as usual, six pin core pinned up for five. So in number one doesn't want to come out. That's a standard. doesn't want to come out. Here we go. Number two is serrated. Number three is serrated. Number four serrated. Number five serrated. No, sorry, that's standard. Number 
And that's not magnetic pliers, that's just sticky pins. Alright, let's have a look in here. Number five is serrated. Serrated. Why this is playing up? Let's have a go from this end. Number one. Serrated. Number two. Serrated. And number three, serrated. You can tell by the colour of those springs how grotty. Nice and bright like they should be. So here we go, close up on these pins. Apart from the key pins in one and five, everything's serrated, no spools. Which obviously explains why. No full sets. Anyway, there we go, the American Series 20 padlock out of my naughty bucket, finally done. Thanks for watching, see you again soon. Bye.